Well, it's now time for me featured artists, and right in front of me, I have got Jerry Cooper and Phil Snell. Good evening, gents. Good evening, Les. Hi, Les. Let me turn your microphones up there. That's a bit better. Right, guys, you've been uh, very busy in the recording studio of late. Yes, yeah, back in uh, <coughs> November. The album came out in the middle of November, so we were very busy prior to that. Uh -huh. But it's uh, it's been out since the middle of November, and uh, people seem to like it. So it really just about coincided with your last visits uh, into the studio. It would have been about then that you were in last, wasn't it? Um, it was summertime, wasn't it? I think it was summertime. It was a bit really? early. I, I, I can't remember. I think, I think we were in the process of recording at the time. Uh -huh. So uh, how long was the uh, the album in the making? Oh, oh. We, did, we actually did it pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, were, you went away, didn't you? So, yeah. Um, I, I did. I sort of finished off when Jerry was away enjoying himself. So. <laughs> <laughs> I left all the work to him, but I just had the fun bit. Fantastic. <laughs> and uh, was there any particular process in selecting the, the songs that you were going to put on it? Yeah, we, we were going for sort of the, the sort of happy side of, of blues, <laughs> as it were. We were going mm -hmm. for the more of the sort of Piedmont style and, and ragtimey sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, and and the, the album's called Trucking Under Happy. It's just this idea that you're going from a blues place to a happy place. So that was, that was the sort of kind of plan. Mm. Right. Uh, well, well, we found that there is actually a place in America called Happy. <laughs> it which doesn't surprise me. In the middle of a desert somewhere, and it looks a really run-down place, so we took the photograph and had it photoshopped to make it look, you know, really, mm, this is like <laughs> Las Vegas, you know. Fabulous. Yeah. Right, guys, let's let's uh, start off with uh, something from Chuck and Tabby, and uh, what's this one going to be? Uh, this is uh, an old traditional song, well, it's pretty much a Blind Boy Fuller version that we like, and uh, it's called Chuck and Little Babe. Excellent. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
excellent. That was great. Thanks very much for that. Thanks, Jerry, thanks. can you just twist that uh, microphone towards your face? That's it. It's got, a, it's got a clue on there. It says front. Oh, ah, right. Shall I have to twist it around so it says front in front of me? Is that it? I've never seen front written on Jerry's face before. <laughs> That's fabulous. You're obviously not very observant. <laughs> well, uh, the last time I saw you guys live, you were at uh, the Monkey Jump Blues Club uh, up in uh, Heaton in Newcastle. And what a great night we had there. Oh, it was tremendous, wasn't it? Yeah, really, really good time there. Uh, Were you getting an award? You, you got an award, didn't you? Uh, yeah, we were the running the uh, uh, Blues Hall of Fame induction yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the next night. Yeah, so it was yeah. uh, it was a great weekend, and I survived the beef burger. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too, but only just. <laughs> I was too scared. I didn't know. What. <laughs> Absolutely huge, aren't they? But never mind. Anyway, apart from uh, Monkey Jump Blues Club, have you been uh, getting a lot of gigs in the place? I've had a few, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Playing about the place, you know. And, uh, Various family and holiday stuff's been getting in the way for some of our time, really, but uh, mm. we're looking forward to some more gigs coming up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we're playing uh, tomorrow night. We're um, entertaining the good people of Leeds at the Chemic Tavern. Excellent. And whereabouts in Leeds is, is that one, Jerry? It's on Woodhouse Road. It's in Woodhouse. It's near Hyde Park. Right. Um, it's run by Duncan McFarlane, who's a mm -hmm. local guy. It's called, it's called the Itinerant Waiters Club. I have no idea why it's called that. <laughs> well, apparently when Duncan had a band back in the 70s, it got played on John Peel's show. Did he really? Luigi, yeah. Luigi and the Boys. Uh -huh. Luigi and the Boys, yeah. And, they said, uh, and John Peel apparently said, here's a bunch of itinerant waiters. Oh, right. Ah, so that's <laughs> where they got you. Yeah, yeah. that's where it came from. Yeah. Sounds very interesting anyway. Yeah, yeah it'd be fun. It'd be, fun <laughs> it'd be a good night. And then uh, next... Next Sunday we're on another we're we're on the wireless yet again. Oh my yeah, goodness! On the on the Durbeville show on BBC Radio Leeds. Excellent on Sunday night, so uh, people can tune into that one. Set their crystal sets to pick it up. And that, that completes your hat trick inside of a week, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Gary's show last Sunday. Gary Granger's show last Sunday, uh -huh. and uh, here tonight, and then Durbeville's on next Sunday. So it's a fortnight. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Great guy, Gary. Yeah, yeah he, he is. I've never met him before, so it's, it's a pleasure to meet him. Yeah, excellent. Okay, the lads, what are you going to play for us? Um, well, we're going to play an instrumental now that um, we recorded on the album, and it's called the, the Dallas Rag, and it was recorded in Dallas by the Dallas String Band. <laughs> They're really good on my imaginative names. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
going to start a CD or you're thinking about uh, getting a CD, how do you actually choose the songs to go on it? Do you, act, do you look for a certain kind of song or is it something that you uh, already know or do you go out and search? A bit, a bit of all, bit of, all of that, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I both, you both, of, both of us have um, played for a long time and both of us had, have had a lot of interest in blues and old timey and ragtime and you know all that sort of stuff. And usually we just say to each other, you know, what do you think of this song? And we'll have a look at it and we'll think, oh, well, yeah, that's good. Let's put it in the repertoire. Let's put it in the, on the list. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we'll, we'll play a few, a few times and think, nah, that doesn't really work. And really, we selected the, the tracks on the album from stuff that we thought worked and that we'd actually gigged quite a lot as well. Mm -hmm. And we had the, um, the idea when we're doing the album of doing it as live as possible. So I don't think there are any overdubs <coughs> on it at all. And um, in terms of additional instruments. No, it's not that. It's, it's exactly it, as we can play it. There's nothing extra. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. And, and Although we didn't necessarily do every track like that. Yeah. Because you know, it's such a difficult in the studio. Really. Yeah. But several tracks but, but were the, recorded the rags, sort of live in the studio. The rags were live. They, they were just yeah. 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 So where, where did you actually uh, record it? It was in my, my studio. I've got a studio in, in, in Otley. Excellent. Yeah. Limbo Creatives yeah. Studio. Yeah. Brilliant. Some, some really good albums being recorded there. <laughs> it certainly helps when you've got your own recording studio. It, it, does, it makes it easier, yeah, it takes the pressure <laughs> off a bit. <laughs> Excellent. That's uh, www.limbomusic.co.uk if anybody wants to have a look. There you go. Okay then guys, uh, we're at, ooh, got time for another two I think, so... Oh right, okay, well I'll just have to swap to the Barnsley fighting guitar. <laughs> Can you give me that one, Jerry? That's... Uh, Jerry? Can I have a guitar? Please? Oh yes, sorry. That is uh, Jerry's uh, uh, Michael Messer steel resonator guitar and it's a, a very shiny, shiny instrument polished it up specially for coming i borrowed jerry's guitar so. don't don't hurt it will you okay. Okay. Most of our repertoire, we're into 50 odd songs we've got that we do. Mm. You know, it's Very good. A lot of them. Uh -huh. There's 50 odd ones and, and some nice ones as well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd just say 49 even ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that for the next time. Right. This is a Tampa Red song called I Can't Get That Stuff No More. Do you know I've actually got a Tampa Red song to play tonight? Good lad. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see. Get that stuff no more. You can't get that stuff no more. 
on State Street that used to give it away. Now you can't get it if you offer the pay. You can't get that stuff no more. You can't get that stuff no more. No matter how you try, you can't buy. You can't get that stuff no more. All the girls used to walk that street. Now the walls from off the feet. You can't get You can't get that stuff no more by Georgia Tom and, <laughs> and Tom Red. Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. And that was first recorded uh, way back in the uh, back into the 1920s. 1928. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was probably the big flush of 1928 songs, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I didn't realise that, uh, that these yeah. two did uh, over 90 tracks together. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And then George Tom got religion and went off to become a, a tremendous gospel mm -hmm. artist. Like yeah, that. he did. And he went from playing the piano mm -hmm. to playing trombone and being a band leader and yeah. all kinds of things. And a very, very sharp dresser as well. I'm sure mm -hmm. he was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I fall after him in that one. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can tell on the radio especially. Indeed. <laughs> right, guys, where can the listeners get hold of your album? From our website, which is www.jerryandphil.co.uk. That's G for giraffe, Jerry, golf, isn't it? Yeah. G for golf, Jerry, and phil.co.uk. Excellent. And uh, the samples up there, and a bit of film of us, and stuff like that, you can buy albums. And mm -hmm. Well, we're actually filming this tonight, so uh, tomorrow morning, sometime, listeners, uh, you'll be able to get onto uh, my website, or my Facebook page, or YouTube, and you'll be able to see us all in glorious technical. That's wonderful. Oh, How good gosh. is that? <laughs> Jerry, Jerry usually comes out in black and white, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not being a jury, you have to. <laughs> now, I'm busy uh, uh, holding harmonica lessons, which I'll be doing in the second half of mm. uh, the show. And uh, I'm very keen to kind of infuse people to pick up the musical instrument. If you've got any tip that uh, you could give to people who want to play guitar or any other instrument, what would that be? I, I, I tell them to do. Three things, four things. Practice, practice, listen to records, and practice. Very good. Mm. I'd, I'd say don't give up. If you, if you find mm. you can't do something, just keep at it. You'll be able to do it. Mm -hmm. If somebody else can do it, you can do it. You just have to keep, keep at it. Well, we'll certainly find out in my case in the second hour of this show. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So what are you going to play for our uh, your last number? We're going to finish off with um, one of our favourite artists, Blind Blake, a song by him. And it's called, um, what's it called? Love and I Crave. That Love and I Crave. Thanks very much for having us on, Les. You're very welcome. Yeah, cheers, Les. Go on, nice to meet Now the other night, I 
hats in my backyard. I try to get hit in the other fella happy bar. Thanks ever so much for coming in this evening. And uh, yeah, my pleasure, Liz. I yeah. hope it's not too long before uh, you're in the studio again. Well, I'll be seeing you shortly with uh, Sheila and Peter for um, Bessie's Blues. Yes, of course you will. Uh, yeah. Beginning of March. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's Easy. right. Yeah, it's my other band. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I look forward to that. And uh, yeah, all the best anyway. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks for yeah,